that, know that, that that is happening. Now we're going to take a look at and see that this was all prophesied to happen. Exactly as it's happening. Let's take a look at, this is, uh, this is from Elijah List. And uh, let me do this. <laughs> and what we're doing, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to kind of, we're going to speed read some, through some stuff. Uh, and this has to do with the gold rush that's going on, that's going to be happening in California. Uh, and and it basically here, uh, the gold rush and gold rush treasure has the golden state living up to its name. This is from um, uh, Amy Hurd at uh, Char Charisma. Uh, it was a very surreal moment. It was very hard to believe at first. I thought my second, uh, an old miner, a mule, was going to appear. But basically this. The drought that Southern California has been experiencing has led to at least one nice side effect, gold. According to reports, the drastically decreased water levels have exposed areas previously untouched by prospectors, and in some cases the conditions have yielded some significant results. So basically what we have is we have the drought, this terrible drought that lasted for five or six years or longer, uh, uh, exposed gold because the water levels came down and people began finding gold uh, all over there. And they said, could it be we're going in for another great uh, gold rush like uh, 1849, like the 49ers? We won't go through all the article about how people finding gold, but we end up with... Uh, is Johnny Enloe. He had a prophetic word, the California Gold Rush. And this is an excerpt from it. He says, another gold rush. I will release and reveal the gold. Reveal the gold. There will be another gold rush and, I, and it will astonish the experts. I will re release and reveal gold in places where it was assumed there can't be gold. I will economically rescue you with my kindness and you will even be used to ec economically rescue the nation. I still have 90% of California's treasure hidden for such a time as this. Even the desert will bloom and will reveal unexpected treasures. I will invade the, I, the five, that is the I-5, and spill over into the cities. I will release my wind in, uh, into the 101, and this is Highway 101, and will release life through it. What was formerly US-66 will be a place my angels will walk, walk and release treasures and presents all along Highway 66. Uh, I, will be not be de de I will not be detained as I now have sufficient agreement to act. He says, this is, the, uh, this is the second posting of this word. I won't read all of it, but uh, he says, the Golden State is still full of gold and I am going to make it worth your mining effort. He says, there is an underground Fort Knox in California that is worth trillions of dollars. It is in the 120 mile long section called the mother lode. There is a vein of gold so thick and solid that the treasure does not need to come out of the field to be valuable. We'll just read, we won't read even all of this, but we'll skip down. Uh, this gold does not need to be mined to be considered an asset. An asset is whether you separate it from the rock and so soil or not. I have released the technology so that this gold vein's existence can con conclusively be identified. It is as if there were an underground Fort Knox and it is so <coughs> secure that you don't have to worry about uh, gu even guarding it. As a state and as a nation, under present and economic precepts, you are permitted to print money that is backed by that asset. I am a real, real and practical God. There are Josephs that I am giving the plan to on how to move this forward contractually. Then your age of restoration is upon you and I will not allow the enemy to destroy the world economy. Uh, we won't read through all of it. We'll post this on our, our website. Further, I am releasing gold at multiple levels, even in California. I have shallow gold, mid-level gold, and deep gold. You will hear of discoveries in, in all depth. <laughs> Rivers will flood and reveal new gold rushing possibilities. What's happening right now? Rivers are flooding in California. 
Rivers will flood and reveal new gold rushing possibilities. What are they doing? These rivers are washing away the earth that's there and exposing stuff underneath. You can see it see it happening even on the, the news. And we have rain going on right now in California right now, causing great flooding there. Gold will be discovered in your sand and that you will better, uh, better know how to separate and extract. I will release gold equivalent in your sands and in your deserts. There are seven golds that are already in your sands and in your deserts. These are gold equivalents whose name would not even mean much to you at this point. Gold will be found everywhere. It will be in the water. It will be in the sand. It will be in the rocks. It will be in the mountains. It will be hiding in plain sight. It will be hidden if not in not so plain sight. Go on a treasure hunt with me, the Lord says. The whole earth is already filled with my, my glory treasures, and I need people who can joyfully find and reveal this glory. Again, I tell you that I am, I am who the nations desire, and the silver and gold is mine, so are the cures for every major illness, so are the new energy forms. <clears throat> All giants are designed to be bred for you, but you must carry a treasure hunting spirit rather than a giant hunting spirit. And then he talks about the gladiators. Then we come to Kim Clement, and he had a word in February 22nd, 2014. He sent out as a prophetic alert, and he says, uh, Hear me, for I have found a man after my own heart. I have found a man after my own heart, and he is among you. He is one of the brothers, but singled out for presidency of the United States of America. But hear the transcription of God upon the heart of his prophet, how the gold has been, become dim. The gold has become dim. We won't read through all of it. He talks about the, the <coughs> fortunes of Zion. He says here, I am restoring the fortunes of Zion. Zion. I am restoring the fortunes that were the inheritance of my people. I am restoring the fortunes of those uh, that are the elect of God and have been stolen from. You shall eat your delicacies again and your children will no longer be your food. You shall not use them and take... Take them out of the womb anymore, says the Lord. Watch how I change everything. For there sh shall be those who are, are in justice. There are those who are in, in a strong position. I am just hearing this now. In the highest courts of the land, the Supreme Court, two shall step down for the embarrassment of, of what shall take place. I believe two people on the Supreme Court are going to be stepping down because they there is... There's evidence of some kind of terrible thing against them that the elite have held against them. And I believe that they're going to be stepping down. For I wish to place in the highest court of land the righteous, and they shall, shall attempt to put others in to endeavor to reach their endeavors. But God says, hear me tonight, hear me today. I have this whole thing planned out according to my will, for it is not now time for me to restore the fort, for it is now time for me to restore the fortunes of Zion. The fortunes of those who had had it once, you are going to get it back. This is my promise, says the Lord. Then he says this. He says, I shouted, and they all shouted. <coughs> they were one. They were one. One party. One party of people. It continued until I realized in the unity of these among them stood one that God had set aside to be the leader of the nation. I said, why am I hearing this so soon? Surely you would show me a little bit later, uh, a little bit of a closer uh, to the time. And the Spirit of God said to me, this man has a humble stature, but he is a genius. And then I heard God, gold. I wasn't sure if, if this was attached to his name, but he said to me, he will restore the fortunes of this nation because of his brilliance. Uh, I, could, I could, couldn't quite see his face because that... That was not allowed because there was a mist that covered all the people and he was amongst them. And the Spirit of God made me look at him and he said, this man will throttle the enemies of Israel. This man will throttle the enemies of the West. And there are highly embarrassing moments that are about to occur for many, many politicians in this nation. There will be a shaking amongst the Democrats in the upcoming elections, but unsettling to the Republicans. Why is God doing this? For God said, I am dissatisfied with what emerges from both parties. 
And then there is a nation. He showed me, he took me, itching for a new kind of war with America. They will impouch, imp, 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 they will shout, impeach, impeach. They, but, but they say, but nay, this nation shall, uh, shall very, very subtly, but he shall come in the name of, uh, 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 he will come, not come in the time of President Obama. They shall come when this new one arises, my David, that I have set aside for this nation, a man of prayer, a man of choice words, not a man who is verbose, who has verbosity, who speaks too much. They will even say, this man is not speaking enough, but God says, I have set him aside. They will shout, impeach, impeach, but this shall not happen. The giant of debt. Then God says, highly embarrassing moments when another Snowden arises. There he's prophesying another Snowden. That's exactly what WikiLeaks said is coming. There, the, another Snowden is coming. Another a Snowden arises. And people will become very afraid. Uh, they will say, we have no protection. That is, yeah, the, the, the ones that have been cheating, lying. And Scott, uh, then, and God says, uh, am I impressed with your weapons of war? Am I impressed with the strength of your men's legs? Ha! I have said, I will bring this nation to its knees. And God said, you have been humbled, and yet some more. And then you shall hear the sounds of great victory. For where are the peop people gathered? Where are my people gathered? Where is the sound of unity from my people? In this next week, well, I'm going to go through that. Uh, uh, but it basically, how do we kill the giant? How do we kill the giant of debt? He says, I have placed that man amongst you, a humble man, as Samuel stood before the brothers, and they had rejected David to come because of his age. Take all these little remarks I'm giving you. They are gems. The name and the word gold. Remember that. A man that is amongst them, but is young. And God says, these that shall reject him shall be shocked at how he takes the giant down. This is the giant of debt. Now hear me, please. The giant of debt, the giants that have come, the brothers of the Goliath, stand in glee, watching America. We will cripple you. You will lose your credit. But God said, watch. I said, 20,000. Look not to Wall Street, however. Observe. And they shall say, what is, is your plan for this giant? And he will take a simple stone remember the name, and he will hold it up, and they will laugh at him. But the plan is so brilliant, says the Lord, it can only have been given by me. California, you are dying because of a drought. Watch my sign. Watch the sign of rain. What do we have? Torrential rains in California. The Pineapple Express is coming from Hawaii and dumping rain all over for I told you there would be severe wind from above, and all the states that are affected by the severe weather have been set up for a shaking of my spirit and an outpouring of my spirit. But California, I am looking at you. Gold, stone, California, and, and small of nature. And God says, once you recognize the man that I have raised up, pray, for the enemy will do everything in his power to put a witch in the White House. Did anybody hear what he just said? For Jezebel has chased away the prophets and even Elijah. Now I have said, go back, for this shall be dismantled, so that there will be, will be no more corruption in the White House, says the Spirit. America, freedom is yours in the Spirit. Israel, freedom to reign. America, righteous judgment and a great shaking of the Spirit in America. The Spirit of God says one more thing I want to talk to you about. That little dwarf in North Korea. I'm getting a little tired of him. I think I'm going to go and pay him a visit, says the Lord. You watch and see what I do. And what will be a big sign that the man I am sending with a stone for the giant is emerging, says the Lord. So who is this man that uh, was prophesied? Has something to do uh, with gold. This is, this is Trump's residence. Do you see any gold there? Do you see anything, anything gold there? This is, uh, this is Trump Tower. Do you, do, you, do you see any gold there? How about, 
curtains. It's Trump, a Trump Hotel. Solid gold with gold Trump on the top. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, what are we, what are we seeing? Uh, what we, what we have is this. What we have is this. We have California, and we have the this gold zone, and this is a 120 mile long gold zone in in California, running up and down here. And this is where that gold is, that incredible gold deposit. There may be more, much more than that. There are going to be gold following in other areas as well. But uh, this is where the, the, the really big one, worth trillions of dollars in here. Uh, and it's going to be a unique form of gold uh, that we've discovered. It said there's going to be a new technology that's discovered. Well, it'll be able to delineate the gold in the ground, and you won't even have to dig it out. It'll be just be there. Uh, do, you, you, are you familiar with the, the old joke? Uh, yeah. It goes like this. Here's the land we have down here, you know, a gold deposit. So they, you, you know, you, you, you tunnel down into it, you, you tunnel across here, you extract the gold, you bring it out, you pile it on the, on the land, uh, you haul it over here in trucks, you know, it gets refined in a big building, you know, it comes out, it gets poured, they take it over here, and they put it in a bank. That's the, you know, that, that's the process. And, uh, and uh, somebody was explaining this to his little daughter, you know, and she says, uh, well, Daddy said, why, why don't they change that? Why don't they get rid of this and, and all of this and just build the bank on top of the gold? <laughs> that's essentially what, what they're talking about. Why don't you just build the bank on the gold? Instead of going through all this, just build the bank on top of the gold. Why? Because uh, this gold is there. It can, can be commoditized if you want, uh, and this can be used as collateral. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying. You know, it's <clears throat> yes. Were you going to mention about the dam, the Orville? Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, Van Is that up there? Is that there the south of the Silicon Valley? That's what it looks like. Well, it's uh, it's uh, inland. Silicon Valley is near San Francisco. Oh, so yeah. this is over more towards this Sacramento? Is, yeah, this is Sacramento area. <laughs> so here's what happens. Here we have, uh, from a Breitbart, uh, emergency California's Oroville <coughs> Dam spillway near failure evacuations ordered. What is Oroville? Oro is the word for gold, the Spanish word for gold. This is gold overflowing, overflowing, overflowing. Here we have an ad for gold right here on the same page. We have the Oroville overflowing uh, in what did it say? The sign of rain was in it exposed the gold. We said in the prophecy. What are the signs? Again, I yes. was also noting that on the bed, a city of gold, right, is Oroville. But yes. it's El Dorado. It doesn't yeah. mean the same thing. Yeah, El Dorado, can mean, the, El Dorado can mean the same thing. So you, you, you see here, Oroville, uh, Ville, uh, Ville means a city, so it's gold city, city of gold. And, and we see this overflowing, and the, wa what the water was going, it said in the prophecy, was going to do this. We said that there's new technology. What is the new technology? Is, is it ZTEM? Is it that, that kind of technology that we're already familiar with? Uh, it said that it's going to be able to delineate the gold, uh, and we, uh, and so there's something to do with gold and stone. Is there su such a thing as called gold stone? Is it, a, is, is, is this a new new form of gold? There's all kinds of different forms of gold, but this this main thing that's going to be exposed. He said that Donald Trump, I believe it's Donald Trump. He said he was a young man. I think it's uh, uh, Donald 70 right now. Of course, he has stamina, and he's going like crazy. I mean, I can't believe uh, he's wearing out the press, you know. I mean, and he's flying and going and doing and accomplishing, and he seems to have marvelous health and strength. Uh, but essentially, he's really a novice. I think it's that what, what they were saying. 
he was a novice. He's not a politician. Uh, he's young in the political uh, the th sphere of things. So I look at, I think, see Donald Trump. He's leading this thing. And so what we see, we see, we have what? We have coming 315, the debt ceiling. The debt ceiling. This is going to be a crisis in America. There are, <coughs> there are Republicans that are going to stand and say, we are not going to permit an increase in the debt ceiling. We're, they're, they're gonna, there's going to be a fight. Eventually, you have to get into. You, you can't spend money you don't have. Eventually, you've got to do that. Uh, and uh, what's the solution for this? Uh, because the thing is, the, uh, the Satan's plan to crush us by debt, and God's plan is to release brand new assets in the ground that completely uh, will uh, uh, negate the debt that we have. Yes. I have a question. Um I guess gold's around 1200 right now. Yes. So now if all this gold is found and released and, and kind of floods the market and the mines and things, what is that going to do to the price of gold? I mean, it seems like when well, you get a lot more, it's going to reduce the price Absolutely. Of gold. In the natural, that's what, that's what happened. But what do we have coming? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have new gold-backed currencies. That's what's coming. Yeah. This is this is this is what new gold-backed currencies is what's coming. Will, will these be the new Fed coins? <laughs> Fake coins. Fed. Fed coins. Well, they could be Fed coins. Yeah. We uh, we uh, the uh, there's a there's a move on, and I we need to push wherever we can to uh, uh, to uh, make gold legal tender in America again. That with with no. Uh, no taxes on it or anything. So basically, if you get if you get into new new currencies, why why do I say that? Because that's what China is moving for. That's what Russia is moving for toward. That's what everybody's moving toward in the world is gold-backed currencies. It's been a strategy for the last 20 years. They're building toward that. They're that's why they're getting all this gold and doing all of this stuff. And so, what happens is. Uh, uh, we're moving there, and uh, uh, why? Because there's been a crisis of fiat currencies. Current fiat currencies have never lasted. This is the longest anything that uh, something that has no value actually has actually lasted as if it has value. It, uh, so what we see is, I think the SDR is going to be uh, partially gold back, and I think the currencies involved in the SDR are going to have gold backing. I think that's and that's I think that is where they're going. Uh, it'll bring some uh, disciplinary uh, thing uh, there. So, what do we have going? We have all these signs. We have come to this place where, in the United States of America, this is being uh, fulfilled uh, before our eyes. Uh, these prophecies that Kim Clement gave in 2014 uh, concerning Donald Trump, the new administration, the defeating debt. Of gold and everything, Rodney. Uh, <clears throat> where do you think this, if this massive gold find in California, how do you think that would impact the things that we've been talking about, the other mines, you know, that have to spend a lot of money to get it out? And this is saying it's going to be right there readily available. <laughs> well, no, oh, oh no, I, I think gold is just going to. I think gold is going to go to five thousand dollars an ounce. I think it's going to be uh, these mines here, uh, the California, uh, I mean the Carolina Gold Rush prophecy stuff is going to be going to be have all these mines are going to be fabulous. Uh, eventually, you actually have to have, get uh, gold out of the ground. But yeah. for instance, when if Saudi Arabia, when Saudi Arabia discovered they had 250 billion barrels of oil, uh, they didn't have it out of the ground, but all of a sudden they could get credit anywhere in the world. It, 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 people wanted to loan them. That was collateral. They knew that that was there. That's essentially what it's talking about. It's talking about America is going to have assets in the ground that are going to be, be able to be collateral. And uh, what we're doing is we can't get the debt down. The debt is way up there. But if all of a sudden your assets come way up, then the debt doesn't look nearly as big because it has to do with how many assets you have. And so that's the big thing in the perception. It's going to look like 
America is going down the debt drain. I, I really think that that's uh, that's uh, uh, will be facing us. But I see God intervening. So what are we looking for? We're looking for another Snowden to come forward, somebody from NSA or somewhere. It's going to come. It was prophesied, and it's being hinted at at WikiLeaks. They would. What is WikiLeaks hinting? They're hinting because they already have the, They already have the knowledge. They, uh, they when they get, get all this raw knowledge, they put it into a form that's searchable, and you can actually search these documents, and and they they all have to be scanned and all this kind of thing put in, and uh, word searchable and put in uh, hooked up to the search engines and all that type of thing. They're putting it all in place right now. So we have information that's going to ex uh, expose the Clintons, the intelligence agencies, military, all kinds of people. Eventually, the pedophile rings are going to be exposed. All kinds of stuff are going to come out. Washington is going to get exposed. Yes, Paul. Yeah. Oh. I, I just heard yesterday somebody saying that even actually Kim Clement was prophesied that there will be like they will be, like that there will be trials like like greater than the Nuremberg trials on all these people. Like okay. it was actually wow. prophesied. I mean, I I just uh, repeat what somebody else said, but I don't know what. You well, I, I I I haven't haven't read those things, but. They need, there need to be, uh, not a slap on the wrist, not, well, you retire and get your government bonus and uh, retirement, uh, you know, no. We've got, uh, you know, uh, uh, these people have got to be dealt with and, uh, and severely, and uh, maybe they'll retreat for a little while. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Who? Tom. I was going to say that uh, with this new area down in California, and you couple that with the amount of gold and the pebble. Yeah. I mean, all of a sudden... We got, we got pebble, uh, and we're going to have gold. There's going to be gold in the Yukon, gold in Alaska. <coughs> oh, mm, but we're going to need it all. That, we're, gonna, we're actually going to need it all. We don't have too much. Because what we're doing is we're going back to uh, a <coughs> righteous currency. Fiat currencies that can be produced at whim by the bankers for themselves at no cost is, 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 is outright thievery. It is thievery on a scale that is just beyond the realm of comprehension. Uh, and so uh, uh, if, if a new currency has to be backed by gold, then there's, uh, there's a big difference. Will there be a move to remove the Fed and back to the Treasury Department? Yeah, uh, will there be a, Glenn's question is, will there be a move to re, uh, get rid of the Fed and go back to using the Treasury? Absolutely. I, I uh, hope we can do that. That would be absolutely the best way to go. Uh, uh, this is Ken's story. I'd like to take a minute or two to uh, tell you about what our business and ministry is, investing with insight. Uh, what you are looking at is our uh, our uh, website on uh, Facebook. We post here uh, uh, frequently. We have videos and all kinds of interesting articles, prophetic revelation. Uh, let's go over here and take a look at uh, our investingwithinsight.com website. This is where we uh, we post a lot of our information. A lot of dreams and revelations are posted here. Uh, with people, for people. Uh, we see what the Lord is saying and we see how we might be able to invest and protect our families and our, our businesses at this time. Let's go over here to our, uh, this is our, uh, our website that we run on Kajabi. This is for our paying members only. And uh, uh, we have, uh, here we have, we post all of our videos, uh, uh, all of our, uh, our special reports, we have resources and watch lists and special reports. We have our meetings, we have prophetic revelation, we have our top picks of our top stocks, our penny stocks, this kind of thing that the Lord has shown us. And I want you to, to get an idea because as a member you'll get a, uh, you'll have a part of this. Let's go over here, let's say uh, you joined us. Well, every Saturday morning we have a um, uh, a presentation or online we broadcast online you can see here we got two days and 19 hours to go here before we do our next one 
The, um, uh, and we have a chat area over here on the right. You can see where people can chat and they can talk back and forth about what's going on, be a part of the community. We have people around the world on, um, on several different continents that are all a part of this on uh, Saturday mornings. Then, uh, then what happens is we also have people who are traders. And so every, um, every week um, I provide, I mean every day, I provide a, a, a stock uh, list of where you can invest based on the, the, where the market is for this particular day, based on our prophetic stocks. As you can see right here, uh, I'm shorting the market. I'm sh the, the DUG, I'm shorting uh, energy. Uh, the VIX, uh, I'm saying that there's going to be a lot of uh, volatility in the market, so the VIX will go up. I'm still in Apple. Uh, I'm shorting China. I'm going long U.S. Treasuries. I'm shorting gold, uh, uh, silver here, and I'm shorting gold mining companies here. So you can kind of see how we're doing. Right now we're averaging about 66% um, APR, and we've been doing this for 631 days. So you can kind of see uh, trading days. Uh, over here we'll take a look at uh, some of our other resources that we have uh, that you would be available to you. We have, we have watch lists, special reports, uh, recommended tools and services, how to invest. We have training classes, 16 basic training class, plus we have an archive of all of our past re resources. There's a forum that goes along with it as well. And then over here, uh, I'd like to, like to show you uh, we have our tweets. Every day we have tweets going out. Uh, uh, we tweet out our, uh, our daily trading, plus uh, uh, all my trades are tweeted out, uh, plus uh, any important articles or per important uh, prophetic revelation that's coming out, we tweet that out to everyone. And so, um, for instance, if you would um, like to, uh, uh, to join up with us, what we have here is you just basically go to... Um, the store and uh, you can click on becoming a member and we have um, we have it's normally four hundred and seven dollars a year for an annual membership and you get essentially weekly meetings um, we, we, we do skip once in a while you can do forty seven dollar monthly membership or a four hundred seven dollar annual membership and we have specials that we're running from time to time and you can take a look at those those specials so uh, basically, um, that's what we are, that's who we are, and uh, it's been great talking to you, and we bless you. Hope you will join it, our prophetic investing community.